<clears throat> Hi guys, Voodoo Host here with another dank stream. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about a sweet armor set, but before I do that, I just wanted to show you guys a quick battle. I recently joined a new clan, like I said I would. Uh, but um, this was against the clan leader. It was the very first time I played against him. I was trying to um, get my bow samurai to vet 9. I might be able to get it this stream. I'm not sure yet. However, he he like took the um, the pull through tactic to a whole new level. So he's using a meta army, obviously. The Naginata warrior monks. He's not using any retainers for the morale, but he's using retainers for um he's using retainers for something else i think it was for the melee cav i could be wrong though because these are vanilla cav Go to fast forward it here. So like I said, he took the pull through tactic to a whole new level. Or a level that I haven't seen in a while. Where he's basically just steamrolling with his katana cap. Now like I said, I was just trying to upgrade my <coughs> my bow samurai. Uh, but it didn't work that way. Just give me one second. Alright. Excuse me. So like I said, he's using a meta army. He's basically using four Naginata warrior monks, Naginata samurai, basically because he doesn't want to deal with my cavalry, and then two katana samurai for added killing support in the center. A very good composition, but he's basically doing a rush build on a hill map, which should have been bad for him. I think the reason, the biggest reason he won was because I wasn't expecting what he was going to do to work initially. But then I realized that he was using Katana Cav instead of Yari Cav. That's kind of why he won and I didn't. The second time we fought, I almost won, but uh, his veterans got me. These um, warrior monks ended up getting four armor because he got the um, workshop. Yeah. I should have actually had my Naginata Samurai up front and then my Monster Shigi up front as well. Because I left this unit's flank open. See, they're gonna say that they're playing for exposed. Yeah, exposed playing for you. And so I basically can't stop these katana cavs from I basically can not have the first few cluster force, they can just knock all my cavs, all my infantry down. So my Yari was shooting the rabbit, so I couldn't stop his cavalry anymore. And because these are Naginata warrior marks, and the Naginata Samurai on this side, I can't use my own cavalry or else. 
just end up leaving it. These guys were in these spaces, so it was easy to get these guns. But that was the was obvious that I lost. And that's the beauty of Magneto Warrior Max. They're good in melee. Especially with stats like this. But if you can windle them down before they get into combat, they should die very quickly. He basically pulled through my entire throne from left to from right to left and yeah, by this point I couldn't do anything to stop him. Fortunately my boy said I do that and I lost the battle pretty bad. But like I said, the second battle we fought it was pretty close. With me almost getting him. He did the same thing, but I was able to stop it. But his Naginata warrior monks were better than my core. That's the beauty of Naginata units. They're pretty decent in 2v1 situations. But you have to be careful at times. So I just want to get into the armor set that I got, which is the Oru Nobunaga set. I got the retainer as well. It's a uh, Gokumon Bodyguard. Gives your uh, general plus six melee defense. It does really well if you have a melee general already. It even works if you don't have a melee general, but it works better with a melee general. So I'd recommend it for sure if you have a melee general. Um, yeah, that's the only that's uh, the retainer that comes with the armor set. A good retainer again. But let's look at the the armor set itself. I already looked at it, so I know what it is. Oops. There we go. He doesn't have one, so I'll leave that. This is what the Oda Nobunaga armor set looks like. Pretty nice in my opinion. Especially with my color scheme. I like it. I'm trying to get the Tokugawa Yasu set though. So um, I'm not going to be using this armor set for a while. I might uh, use it. I might use it on my other account if I have it. I can't remember how armor sets work. Okay, they, so the armor sets are not transferable, unfortunately, because if they were, I would have had, um, I had bad omen already. I would have had infantry officer. I would have had, um, yeah, that's weird. I would have had this, but I don't, so, yeah, they're not transferable. That's fine. The only ones that are transferable are the achievement ones. But yeah, I have to win these all over again. It's funny though, because the ones in Fall of the Samurai are... Blade Master is a random post-battle drop. And I actually got two. Um, it doesn't come up as two though. It's funny that I have Blade Master with the Fall of the Samurai armies, but not with my Shogun 2 army. Anyway, let's go into some new plays. I got a bunch um, from the last time I streamed. I actually can't remember when the last time was. I think it was Friday. And Friday was the 4th.
And because I came home early, I was able to get this battle. And then a bunch after that. So let's just go through them. In this battle, I brought my two matchlock samurai. I got, I think, three Yari Yashiguru. I brought a damaged Naginata Warrior Monk unit. Forgot it was damaged, so yeah. I brought this unit as well. Both of them have 17 attack because I was using the Koshi Portable Shrine. It makes them very dangerous, but they have the same killing power as um, a Lone Sword or Shigeru unit with, um, with 4 points of attack. Their base attack is 11. And their base defense is um, eight. So I unleashed some volleys into his uh, yeah, you should do. He decides to charge. Makes sense. I pull my matchlock samurai back behind my lines. He actually got one. Moved my warrior monks over here to decap the them. He got his Yari cap stuck in my warrior shigeru. Lost a few, but not too many. Probably, it was probably better for him than me. Because my match like Samurai actually chased after him as he was going to see. See, they weren't supposed to do this, and it's an old glitch because I'm still shooting at him. So I didn't really care that much. I mean, match locks are pretty accurate anyway. The warrior monk hero comes in to a battle. Pretty tough unit to take down, but it's possible. Our general is in great danger, my lord. I stop these katana samurai over here. In my Yari Shiguri, they're gonna lose fairly quickly. I wasn't even doing any friendly fire, which is funny. I was still firing, I was firing with his general, I don't think he'd notice. Because his general was just AFK there. He could have charged my matchup center with his own general, but he didn't. Fallen. A cat in blue. And that's when I have to work hard to make sure that they ride it. And yeah. By this point he used his Yari Yashiguru to get these guys. I think it was too late though. These hero units only got 38 kills, which is surprising. And then I started to fire into the these Yari Yashiguru because their friends got exposed. Then there was a fight over here with my general. Very casual winner. These units are going to run. 
Like, uh, Warrior Monks ended up routing. Could have had more kills than I like, but I didn't really could, uh, complain. This unit is very shiggy stage. Typical glitch. Didn't care that much. Uh, his hero came up over here. He was trying to aim for my cavalry thing. So I was able to get some point blank shots off. Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, my but Lord, heroes can get massacred by matchups. That's the beauty of uh, matchup units or engagements. I might do a separate stream on Naginata Samurai tomorrow, including, um, like, I think, what retainers I think would be good with them. I think I did a test in another stream, like the study week special ones, and, uh, with the difference between arm, um, 10 armor and 9 armor. Not so, there wasn't the biggest difference when it came to melee, but it was pretty obvious, like, the respect to missiles how they fared they still get hurt really bad by match locks but it's not as bad as um, fall of the samurai guns because there's a big difference between 10 armor or 9 armor and 10 armor when it comes to um, match locks but there isn't a big difference when it comes to guns since they, they have the armor penetrating uh, armor piercing effect anyway so this guy brought fire rockets and decides to charge my warrior monks frontally. Not a good idea because they have good accuracy. Their charge is practically stopped. Now I'm a big fan for using Yaya Shigeru, but the problem with them is that they're too defensive. If you try to use them in the push-up tactic that would work in the campaign, it doesn't work that well in multiplayer because of a lot of factors. Now, because I didn't use um, increased range, I could still use it to start to fire on these Katana Samurai or even the Bow Samurai. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. I think I got, this is where I got my Matchlock Warrior Monk back from. Might have been this battle or another one. But they did really good. And I did get a death. They did the same point where Bow and Warrior Monk, Bow and Matchlock Warrior Monk shouldn't get past. Our men are running from the battlefield! And, um, I probably will talk about that in another stream. Mm -hmm. 
because these guys were in the other red, they still did a lot of damage to this general who had um, no penalty against spears. You should be careful with charging Yari well functionally because even with um, no penalty against spears, they can get damaged pretty bad. So he brought in my matchlock warrior monks. That's exactly like that. It's nice to charge my first stamina for whatever reason. Those good too because it wasn't a Yari, so, um, Yari procedural unit. But he's gonna lose anyway. I'm still trying to get the Tetsubishi Caltrops retainer, which would give these guys plus 4 bonus versus cavalry. I put my Magnetic Samurai in front of the Bow Samurai. Now this is kind of where Magnetic Samurai again seems to be extremely useful. But they took like a lot of fire, were active, but I put them in guard mode, and they defended against these Katana Samurai relatively well. Tana Samurai did go on the charge, but um, I mean it was kind of obvious that they would, but my not getting the Samurai is still for a while, and I like that. I all need to use these uh, Katana Cav units to get into the flank. But I didn't route the Katana Samurai, unfortunately. My best one is right here, going for these two units, and also for the general, who is... I think he's in this fight somewhere. I didn't know. My Naginata Samurai saw these Katana Samurai route, these Yari Cav route, and still stood, and I thought that was pretty interesting. I think his general died. I can't remember because my general was all the way back here. I forgot to bring him up. By this point, I decided to commit my one sort of ship to to Tanisama unit. Just got the rear of these units. Used a Yari Cap to route these both Samurai, and the battle is over. A glorious victory will soon be yours. This battle once uh, showed once again that Naginata Samurai can't stand the test of time. Like the other Naginata Samurai, the one that got heavily beaten, did route um, eventually. But with the, like eight men left, 15 attack, 12 defense. Um, they were supposed to have 13 attack, but I got the Sword Dojo. And, um, there was no Armor Dojo, so that was their defense. I, I think I buffed their defense twice, so that's how they got 12 defense. Nagi and Samurai are not supposed to be, like, extremely good killing units. That's, like, for Sword of Free. But Nagi and Samurai do fare better, better, uh, excuse me. In 2v1 situations, then, um, Katana Samurai do, or Lone Sword of Shigeru, even. These guys got a few kills. Um, I didn't use them that much. Another good battle with Nagina Samurai. It's going to make me use them more in the future, hopefully. Yari Samurai, however, still have a good use as, like, flanking units. But that can be replaced if you have Naginata Warrior Monks and if you have um, Rel Relentless. This battle was relatively short. 
I was going up against um, Shogun 2 army with a Shogun 2 army. It was another attacking win for me. I just thought I'd show you guys how I did it. Basically, used my bow units to window down the defenders. Used the unit of Lone Sawyer Shigeru to get this tower. I could have used it to fight the units inside, but I decided not to. This unit has two more, or one, like two more attack than that unit, even though I had this unit for longer. Started to fire on these Yari Samurai. Don't lose too many men. Why he brought Yari Samurai is beyond me. Nagino Samurai in a situation like this would probably be better. But to each their own. I mean, Yari Samurai costs 150 talents less. Uh, 150 Koku less. Our weapons made sure to work on their tower! It took a lot of casualties taking out this tower. I think he's gonna try to attack me. Eventually. I ended up Our destroying weapons this made sure tower to well. work of their tower. He tries to attack me on this side and then follows up on the other side as well. All of these units are going to route. I had um, both samurai. I didn't. I did bring Kisho Ninja as well. One of them was the veteran. Used an only spy as well. I didn't really have to. Then I just decided to charge into these Yari Samurai. Because it didn't really make much sense to just wait. He ends up going to my bow shooting here. Which is my fault. This unit was done for, and yeah, by this point it was pretty obvious that I won. So I just used my Kisho Ninja to capture the forty set. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. The lovely part about Kisho Ninja is that they only get spotted at um, at point at 20 meters or about 0 0.2, and that's a lot different from like light cavalry. Like light cavalry can spot your units at 125 meters compared to 100 meters, but when um, Kisho Ninja have this ability on, their spotting range is uh, set to 0 0.2 which means that you can actually throw blinding grenades right in front of a unit
I have my unit of 99 Samurai up here. 13 attack, 15 defense. This is the unit that has 10 armor. By this point, it was obvious that I won. It was a pretty easy win, but I think he didn't really know what to do when he was outnumbered. I don't blame him. Uh, this battle I was using Yari Samurai as frontline infantry, warrior monks on the side. This was a tough battle because I fought this guy before and lost um, a while back. So I decided to bring my Vet 9 Katana Samurai to show him that I meant business. These guys are vet seven. So we did a basically a few skirmishes here and there. He was trying to get rid of my cavalry. I was trying to get rid of his. He outnumbered my cavalry though. He always kept on getting close. But he had his carbine cab set up in a way that I couldn't actually get him. Our men are running from the battlefield! A shameful display! Now I noticed a small Miss Micro here. His carbine cab was aiming at my bow samurai, but they couldn't fire back at this unit of Imperial Guard Cab. But that's when he sprung his ambush up by a unit of Shogun at guard cap. So I ended up catching this unit because he couldn't help both. But then he had another unit here. So unfortunately I couldn't get this unit, but I was pretty close. Our men are running from the battlefield! A shameful display! Shogun at guard cavalry is interesting because they only have two armies. He ends up charging into my bow samurai for whatever reason. I don't know why he would do that, but he did anyway. He ended up getting into them, but he also got into my Yari Samurai, so it wasn't really worth it. He ends up wasting this unit as well, but. Um, at a later time, he slowly just walked away. He then tries to charge again, for whatever reason. He go, ends up getting to my katana cow, which is fine as long as he just stays away from my bow samurai. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord.
I end up getting his second third count. They didn't break though, so that was a problem. I just decided to chase this unit away because they were getting a lot of kills. And I did get the unit, so I was happy with that. Then I realized that he had a unit of Blackbeard infantry here. And so I just retreated instantly. He still wasn't paying that much attention. He ended up getting this unit stuck on Yari Samurai again. But I retreated as well because I wait for a good unit. So now I've basically capped all three points, I just decided to attack him. I know that he has a unit here, so I just decided to attack that point to flush out any other units that he has. He's trying his best to go for my remaining cavalry, um, but I'm also paying attention to um, where he's bringing his units. He's actually trying to decap a point, and I realized this when he separates his Shogunate Guard Cav. This was a slight mistake I made. I was trying to uh, catch his general, but then I remembered that he had a unit of line infantry here. So that was a bad idea. Then I saw this unit going over here. And that's when I brought over my general. He's going to end up bringing over his Imperial Guard Cav. And I think he's also going to... Yeah, he's going to bring over his general too to uh, support. Probably try to get my general. They have a good charge bonus, even though they're like they're basically a great guard unit. I see this up as an opportunity to go for the general. Activate Banzai. He doesn't get a charge off on my general, which is good. I try to go for his general. That's when I realized that he has more cavalry. And I just disengage. I realized that's not a good idea to bother. Because he's always going to have units that are hiding. At this point, he lost his Shogunate Guard Cav over there. And I'm still trying to figure out if he has more infantry over here. He ends up wasting Our his, hidden units have been discovered, my lord! His Shogunate Guard Cav again with a tardy attack, trying to go for my bow samurai. I did a tardy attack of my own. Using my katana cav to rout the general, thinking that that was his last unit of cavalry, but it wasn't, so. Now I just sacrificed this unit so that his general can, like, stop trying to shoot me. Our hidden units have been discovered, my but lord! then I remembered that there were units in here, so I decided to sacrifice them there instead. See if I can find any more units. Luckily for me, there were. So I just decided to go up there. He starts firing on the team of the other samurai. I decided that's when I need to bring up my units. Get into the back of this unit of Blackbeard infantry. I 
I see him trying to do trap the point. Our men are running it. from the but battlefield. Then gets isolated. Shake for this play. Time, I'm pretty sure that he has no more units. So I just get him. I already send my. Oops. I already send my to him. They tie down the cavalry. He's trying to go for like a ton of samurai, which makes sense. But he's still gonna end up losing anyway. My warrior monks make it to the flanks. This unit of black bears can't fire without getting trapped. My, for some Our reason, my first samurai got so close. He decaps this point over here by able to go for the general, which is good now. Because of World Cry, these units routed. And then it's just a chain route after that. The my Warrior Lord, Monks do a job. Glorious I do my job over here. Route the General wrote this unit of Imperial Guard Cav. That's all I needed to do. And that was it. A pretty interesting battle. Could have went his way if I had been more reckless. But thankfully it wasn't. Anyway, that's it for replays. Let's try to get some live battles. I just have to quickly modify my retainers. Yes, I know the clan's been promoted. I already got this. I'm just gonna save it anyway. Because I don't know if I ever put it in the picture. Western Coalition. They've been getting a lot of territories. I'm going to try to get my bow samurai to vet 9 this battle. Wait, I just realized something. I wonder if I use my veteran. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna use that instead. Get it up there. Let's try to make this battle quick and painless.
So I'm just going to make a note to myself to talk about Naginata Samurai tomorrow. Already have good armor. That's Sorry guys.
Your general is in grave danger, my lord! Our men are running from the battlefield. I'm sorry about that battle, guys. I was just trying to fix something for an assignment. And I was on the phone with somebody that knew uh, what went wrong. So I finally did get the Vet 9 Bow Samurai. This unit is close to getting Vet 9 as well. I did mess up with my Naginata Samurai, but that's okay. But I got what I wanted, so I'm happy. So with this, I can get two reload, two accuracy, so that's four. Two reload, two accuracy again, and then increased range. Still haven't spent any points on the Yari Samurai though. Not sure what I want on them. But that was a good battle. I'm happy that on my... If had I been paying more attention, I probably could have won that, but I'm not going to complain too much. Part of it was my fault. He did bring Yari Cav instead of Katana Cav, which I thought was interesting. Seems like all the good players are on this morning. Forest Scully is a pretty good map. I haven't used Zen like Silence in a while. Oh, he's not in the mood. Oh, that's okay. I'll just switch up my retainers and wait for the next match. I'm pretty happy with that last battle, though. 
because it could have went a lot worse. However, I did miss micro my units. I was too busy talking on the phone. Basically, I was doing a Linux assignment and I got stuck, so I asked for some help. Hey, Stappy. I'm doing good. How are you? Let me just quickly check my Twitch. I got no emails back. That's fine. I could get 80 reload. Oh, that's why I didn't put it back. See me a second, guys. I didn't get anything back yet. That's fine. That's fine. I'll have to continue uh, when I get to school. Now back to Shogun 2. I'm going to try to use my Foot Samurai because I haven't used them in a while. Let's hope that this battle is better than the last one. This guy is from the Huzaria clan. He's Amethyst. Prestiging isn't always the best, I will admit, but it's definitely useful. Never used Ringo's teachings, and I won't now. Get this set up like this. Actually, I should use Restless, Relentless, and Restless. Probably gonna lose this anyway. There you are. I don't care too much about fatigue because chances are I'll probably be forced to um, maneuver in the center. But it really depends on where the the um, key buildings are. Shrine is the first and most important, followed by. The sword dojo. Actually, the archery dojo, then the sword dojo. He's using unbalanced spears instead of untrained fugu cook for whatever reason. The reason why he's using untrained spears is so it, it's easier for cavalry to 
kill the spears before the spears kill the cavalry. Makes sense. Doesn't affect Naginata's, obviously. So I can get the shrine, but then he might go for the sword dojo. In a situation like this, I'm going to just go for the sword dojo. Actually, no. Put them in front. The ten of samurai here. Makes it easier to rip through units. Yeah, that's why he used budge. This is going to be a hard fight, but I've uh, faced him myself. He brought more units. Got more units. Just have to find them. So he is going for this. Interesting. Revolver tab, of course. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! Running from the battlefield! A shame for this play!
We actually did get a run up for a bunch of players. Well, this one didn't, but this one did. Either way, he would be able to. That's pretty cool. It's a tough one. Seems like in the morning there's a lot of good players. So this unit became vet 9 as well, that's good. This unit fed it up as well. The key might be with um, actually penetrating Gary Samurai. That might be what I need to practice on. I'd even look how, how much experience these guys got. It doesn't matter though. What map is this? Imashi Castle, I'm attacking, that's good. We'll use ninjas. something again okay doesn't affect magnetis it's good
Let's hope this setup works. Because there's a possibility that he has a lot of VR issues with. That's why I brought in balanced spears and cold snap. to Kisha Ninja. That's good. There's an entrance here that I could use instead of doing that. Yeah, let me do that instead. Use the, this entrance instead. That way the units are closer. Too late, Cav. His generals out here, for whatever reason. Katana Samurai, Katana Samurai, Go Samurai. You can just blitz it, but I don't have a stamina to, to do that, so instead, we'll just do what we're going to do originally. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord! I'll have to wait three minutes to activate that again, but that's fine. I mean, they're light cavs, so they have good spotting. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord! Oh, come on. If he does, he's pretty slow.
He doesn't even have any spare guns. Why he's bringing these units over there is beyond me. I can bring my units back up now. I hope they do when they fire a back up. Our general is in grave danger, my lord!
glorious victory will soon be yours! Ten wins! Finally, guys, we've done it. We have finally got the full Tokugawa Yasu armor set. So I'm gonna go over that armor set as well in this uh, video. Gonna hold off on spending any points right now. Could get a bow, but don't want that. The fatigue resistance aura is very useful. I just can't remember how much fatigue resistance it gives your units. Sorry, guys, give me a second. So let's look at the full Tokugawa Ieyasu set. That's it. Yeah, that's right. Old head. That doesn't matter. And of course. That doesn't matter. This looks pretty nice. Like the Tokugawa horns. Yeah, this is pretty nice. I have to admit. Not bad looking armor set. Might have to recolor my general though. Because the it doesn't really complement the traditional Tokugawa look. But it's pretty nice. As for the retainer, the retainer is obviously going to be useful. Gives um, it basically acts like a scares enemy retainer. Uh, ability, not retainer. Sorry about that. It's just minus one morale, like scares enemies. And then, yeah. 
So yeah, I got the Castle Stormer retainer. I don't need to get any more. I'm going to end the stream here. Thanks guys so much for watching. Um, tune in tomorrow and I'll talk about this armor set more in depth. And I might even change my avatar into that armor set. Because this armor set is pretty... Uh, my, uh, my current avatar is pretty weird. Again guys, thanks so much for watching. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream and of course learned something. Bye guys.